آیا ده How's everyone? I'm back. Not feeling right, but feeling a lot better than I was yesterday. But while I was going through all the social networks, because I don't normally go on TikTok a lot. I really don't. I think I've got three videos up there. That's it. And some had come across, and it, it kind of got me so mad. Both ways, both ways. There was, hi, everyone, from Twitter. Right, got me so mad in two ways. And I've been sitting here scratching my head like fucking what the hell is going on in the world today. It's just disgusting. Some people might say it starts at home. I do say that. I say a child's behaviour and learning starts at home. Because from the first days born to when he goes to nursery or when she goes to nursery, you're the main carer, the parent. You're the one they look up to. You're the one they follow. Right? So, it does start at home a lot of it. But then again, I think a lot of it is also peer pressure. So... Because she put out, this girl, right, she put out a statement, I think, on, Twitter, on TikTok saying she only did what she did because she was with a group of other kids who all had knives. And she backed away from the group and said, F this, right, and they go and do it, go and do it, right? Now the story is, I've seen the video, and I'll play you one little bit of a video. You won't see no picture, it'll just be a sound. You don't want to see the video. If you have, if you're on Twitter, or X, I should say, or on TikTok, then you, put, you may have come across it. Now, this lad was eight years old, eight and a half. Autistic lad, and uh, all he wanted was to be, make friends, be friends. And in this one video, you just see him touch her hand, right? And she's going, He just touched me, he just touched me. Wow, what's the big deal? He touched you. But then again, he come back and done it again. And that's when she gave chase. She gave chase. She chased this eight-year-old down. Even though she says in her statement on uh, TikTok, I only done it because I knew the other guys with me, the other ones with me had knives. That isn't what I saw on the video, love. That is not what I saw on the video. She chased him down, pinned him down, and beat the S out of him, sort of thing. And to be honest with you, she's not just at fault. The one filming it, and there's another lag in this video as well, who come into it. So to my knowledge, there's three of them at least. One film, there's her, and there's another lag. But she's pinging this lag down, and he's crying, he's screaming at her to stop it, to stop it, to stop. And she carries on. She carries on. And I'm thinking, 
what the hell? This lad is eight and a half years old. He's autistic. He just wants to be friends. He wants friends. Why can't people just accept people for who they are? You know what I mean? No one is perfect in this flipping world. No one. No one. And I'd like to meet that person who is flipping perfect. I really would. Someone is being law abiding, never been in any trouble, never gave any leap to his mother or his father or to any member of his family. Um, Never had arguments with anyone. You know what I mean? All that sort of stupid stuff. But who's perfect? No one. This lad is just heart wrenching and it just makes me think more of Sebastian. You know what I mean? This girl who attacked him was, was she 13 or 14? 13. 13. He's eight and a half, or eight, you could say. She's 13. A lot bigger than this lad. A lot bigger. And actually, I can show you the one TikTok. Right? Because you don't have to see him. I think you just... Well, you do see something, but you don't see her assaulting him. He gets cut off by then. But the reason that I saw one where there was another lad involved as well. So I, I should imagine they're all around about the same age. 13, 14. Right? Anyway, people, because this was put on Twitter or X or TikTok or Snapchat first, people then gave out her address, which I don't believe in. I don't believe in giving out addresses of anyone. I don't believe in doxing anyone. Right? And, um, Apparently, from what I understand, she's been jumped, as I say, jumped. Uh, jumped and whatever. And then someone else said, well, she's just been jumped twice by some two other people. So all together, she's been jumped three times. Why the hell is that girl coming out of the house? Why the hell haven't they got that girl away from that house? Knowing her just has been put out there. It's not fair on the neighbours. Not fair. A parent could be really, really good people. You know what I mean? They could be really, really good people. Hold on, I'm just trying to find something. A parent could be the best parent ever. This girl could be a child that never went with dad. You know what I mean? Had holidays. Had the clothing she wanted, had food on the table, whatever she wanted. You know what I mean? I could have had, she could have come from a really, really, really good home. And the parents could be really good. So what went wrong? What went wrong, wrong with this young girl? I'm not going to say a name. Well, you'll hear it anyway. Or you'll see the name and I'll show some TikToks. But it's just disgusting. And when I hear this lad shouting out to stop, I just thought of Sebastian. Did he ever have that happen to him? Where they're belting him and he's telling him to stop, to stop. Did that ever happen to Sebastian? Anyway, I'm going to find out the, yeah, I'm going to share this actually, because there's a here, which actually died, and I think he was up 
uh, autistic as well. Right? This lad here, he was killed. This was a few years old now, or a year old. But he was killed, and I'm sure he was an autistic as well. All over a snap chat, but someone having a problem with a snap chat he put up. And he, this lad was set up by a girl. Load, load to a place somewhere, some park or whatever. And these two lads met him and killed him. And they've got all the evidence they want on recordings, on videos, everything. But I'm sure he was autistic. Right? Now, See this one here? This picture here. I can't zoom in because it's on the Twitter account. Right? It shows a smashed... I don't agree with that. I don't. Right? But I could... I, I don't agree with being attacked either. But I can see where people are coming from. Because this 13 year old would go to court and get a slap on the wrist and told me not to do it again. You know what I mean? So. But this is one of the videos. This is the beginning of the video. <laughs> the beginning from where he was like, talking to him. It may be on X. So I'll just... Mm. Oh, cool. Well, I just want to show you the beginning of it because I just what actually happened for her to chat like down. I like. Right. What the hell is this? Right, see that? As he's standing on his leg, so he can't get up. That is not the lad either. There, there's a picture of a lad in the hospital blood all over. He's trying to fight back, as you can see, but she's way too big for him. He's eight and a half years old. She's 13. 
18 and a half year old. She's so big, isn't she? She's so tough. See, there's that lag there involved as well. And whoever's holding the camera. This three I just saw and then he went. Right? I'm trying to find the beginning of the video. So that you can see why it, why it was so pointless what she did. But I can't, it's not it's coming up. Right? But uh, Jedi. Right, because something's got to be done. Right, it's disgusting. And then she will just get up with a slap on the hand. And she'll walk out of that court or wherever it is. And she'll be this, oh, you you done it, girl, you go away with it. So I can understand people taking revenge on her now. I can't. Even though I don't agree with it, I can understand where they're coming from. Because people are fed up of this now. Right. Lexi Bonner trending. Over the weekend, a distressing video emerged online depicting a teenage girl dragging a purported eight year old or by his ankles and subjecting him to assault, including a particularly cruel act of kicking him in his private area. The incident alleged to have occurred in Gobowan Park, Oswestry, has sparked outrage. The attacker, reportedly a 14-year-old girl identified Lexi Bonner by the community, has drawn significant attention on various platforms, underscoring the tri absence of intervention by bystanders observed in the footage. Numerous rumours are swirling about the police have yet a statement. A spokesperson confirmed that the matter has been reported multiple times, indicating that an investigation is imminent. Why is Lexi Bonner trending? Over the weekend. Right, so you got that one. And that's the overview of it. Now, this one, I'm going to have to put this up first. Right. <coughs> I'm putting this up first. Okay, because this, you won't see nothing. You don't see nothing. So what I'm going to do, I'll just play with that up, okay? Because you don't see anything, you can just listen to. You're gonna fist me. I'm not, just get up. No, I just please. Get up.
Rồi. Now that is a eight and a half year old in a cat by a 13 year old. So when I seen this today, because yesterday, I was online yesterday afternoon. I did a live yesterday afternoon and then I didn't do one last night. And I didn't come online at all last night because I was just so tired, I was wiped out. And um, when I came on, I seen this, I thought, who's Lexi? Like everyone else thinking, I think, who's Lexi Bonner? And this is the first thing I seen with this video. And I thought, what? So then I was reading, going through it all, and more and more videos were coming out of it. And I thought, no, I'm sorry, she's just going to get a slap on the hand. Right, that's our justice for you over here. A slap on the hand. Right? A 13-year-old. She don't know any better. She don't know any better. She knows well enough that what she was doing is wrong. She knew that. And all he wanted to do was be, a fr be friends with them. Right? And you could say, well, why, why was the parents letting it, this eight and a half or eight and a half year old autistic guy go out on his own? Because they can't keep him locked up all the time. You can't. Right? And he's probably got no other friends. Because people judge everyone. Right? They're judging. Now, does this girl need, deserve a second chance? Possibly. But I think she needs a lot stronger punishment for what she's done. Not jail time. I don't believe in jail. She's 13 years old. Right? And as I said, her parents could be really, really good people. There's just some, some, I read a comment saying, oh, she should probably come up with her, she's got mental health problems. And I swear to God, everyone who comes up in court, he's got mental health problems. I've got mental health problems. And other people I know have got mental health problems. But we don't go around beating up little kids. We don't go around causing trouble. You know what I mean? So, I I just hate it when people, and I hate it when people throw the race card in as well. Especially if they're like of a, a certain, if they're a black or a, uh, Asian or Indian or whatever, they throw the race card in. And I'm thinking, it's got nothing to do with race. It's got nothing to do with mental health. These people, that child, that girl, knew what she was doing. She knew what she was doing. What I don't agree with is all the blame is coming on to her. Because, okay, the other three kids never done anything. Maybe they, well, the one did, they filmed it. The other two stood there laughing. Didn't try and stop her. Did not try and stop her once. For one second did they try and stop her. No. But I don't believe in giving the names out. The, the addresses out. That is just doxing people and it doesn't help. It's not helping the family. It's not helping her case their case against her. Because now they can turn around, their uh, defence can turn around and say, oh, well, she's being attacked. She's being assaulted. Her house has been, her home has been targeted. That will all go towards her then, for her. And that's what I mean. She'll get up with this. She'll get up with a slap on the hand. 
Christ, if that was up in Scotland, it wouldn't even get to flipping court. This probably won't get to court. But in that statement she put up, and I was trying to find it again, how she said she was with a group of kids and she knew they all had knives. And this lad flipped them off. This eight, eight and a half year old flipped them off. And she thought, fuck this. Pardon my French. But, and she stepped back. And then they turned around and said, you go and get him. So she's saying it was the other lad who had the knife who told her to go and get him. No, they didn't. I was seen the beginning of that video. No, they didn't. So for her coming out and saying that, just got me so mad. Because I thought, you're still flipping lying. You're lying, girl. Just tell the truth. We've got it on video. The police will have it on video. The whole video. Not just little clips of it. They'll have the whole video of it. So don't come out on TikTok and say, it's obviously she's, she's still at home. She's not being arrested yet or whatever, or charged, because she was on TikTok making that statement. So has she learned from it? No. Because there she is again, blaming the other kids that were there, stating they had knives. And, he, and this eight-year-old apparently flipped them off by giving them the finger. Right? I don't know how many times I got flipped off when I was a young girl. I don't know how many times I flipped someone else off. You know what I mean? I, I've done it now. Even when I've been in a car and someone has cut us up, I'm, I I used to go to my husband at the time. I go, can I... Can I can I give them their finger? <laughs> and he goes, don't change, don't do it. I go, Sajik, and my finger will go out the window if they cut us up. You know what I mean? So, to flip someone off means nothing, nothing. But obviously to a 13-year-old, it means a hell of a lot. Because she went and chased him down, pinged him down, a leg holding him down, so he couldn't get up. Apparently he got a broken arm, and I don't know how to, I don't know, I haven't been able to find any information about the injuries of this lad. But I just hope, this will have scarred this lad now for life. He's eight and a half and all he wants is friends and this is what is this is what he had been shown in life this is what you get for wanting a friend you get you you get your arm broken or leg broken or whatever this 13 year old girl has not learned her lesson yet as i said she put that i wish i could find it Right, I really wish I could find it. But I can't. Let's see. But I'll show you this one. <laughs> right? This is after he's touched her hand. Bear in mind. This is after he took this eight and a half year old touched her hand.
Everybody was kung fu fighting. Guys, bro, I'm gonna get all this on video. No, we can't see it. See that? I can't see. Oh yeah. Yeah. Basically, put that statement to put down. Oh, he's one. <laughs> Guys, I'm fine. I'm fine, but I've had my windows smashed and vandalized stuff. But did I regret what I did? But regret what change anything so please give me a break is that an uh, account see if she's got it on there Yeah. But it's just so sad that I know she'll play Joe, she's got mental health problems. We know that every case they have in, in the UK, they've got mental health problems. Right. Okay. So and what I hate about people using that as an excuse is because there are seriously some people out there who have got mental health problems and need the help. Right? And don't go out and do what they do, what these people are doing. They are law abiding citizens, but they've got mental health problems that they can't get the help. Because it's people like her who have end up doing what she's done, plead mental health issues and get the have for it. That's what gets me so mad. People like her who are taking up the uh, facilities for mental health people, but they can't get this help. But people, of course, break the law and stop people and kill people and anything else, they get and all the help they want do not get the help but when i heard that lad and i've just played it on you you've, you've heard it right if you're coming in just coming in now we're talking about a case in the uk of an 18 and a half year old lad who gone to this park area and there's like four four or five people there older children oh I'm done that's my door someone's at my door be right back
Oh, I'm back. Just turn the ad across the hall away from me, asking me if I had the parcel delivered there for him. Nope. Not me. <laughs> Not my flat. It hasn't been delivered there. So, but no, we're talking about uh, an eight and a half year old autistic lad. He'd gone to the park. Some field area or wherever. And there's a group of girls and lads standing around, like they do. Right? And he, he just wanted to be friends with them. Right? Not the right type of people to be friends with, but they don't understand these eight years old. Even if he wasn't autistic, eight year olds don't understand that this group of people are here you do not want to be mixing with. They don't understand that. And this is it. And he touched this girl's hand. And um, in a video, you can see it's like, he touched my hand. He touched my hand. And this one girl who was on the floor, sitting on the floor, said, something like, if he touched my hand, dog. And you don't quite catch it all. So, he does it again. He goes over and touches her hand. With that, she gives chase. Chases him down. Kicks him. Hits him. Stands on his foot so he can't move. And you can hear him screaming. Oh, to stop. Now, you think of that, the parent of that eight-year-old. They're going to see all these videos on TikTok. They're going to see what I've just seen, what I've just heard. That is not nice. As a mother, I, I'd, be hard, I'd be heartbroken to know a child of mine had gone through that in the first place. But the fact that they videoed it and then put it up on TikTok and Twitter and every other social network site you can think of, I'd be disgusted. And I wouldn't just be going after her as a parent. I'd be wanting all of them involved. I see three and one on the camera. So there's four there at least. Well, you got a lot of these keyboard warriors, right, making these TikTok videos, saying that they go go and kick the door in and stomp on them and all this stuff. A lot of them are just keyboard warriors. They just say these because they know they can, they can and get away with it. But I don't like the fact that they've doxed her. They should never have given out the address because that is not fair on the family. They've got the address, they've got pictures of her house on TikTok and Twitter. No, that is fair. It's not fair on the rest of the family. It's even got, I'm sure I'm one of them, it's got uh, all the, the names of the family, the members in the house, like brothers. So someone will go after them now, after her brother or sister. They weren't involved, but because they put their address out there and their names, they could be targeted. All because of what she'd done. And her silly little friends. So, but did, as soon as I seen this, I thought, Sebastian coming to my head. He really did. Well, Sebastian, don't leave my head, does he? He's in my head. He's leaving my head at the moment. Sebastian, what is this? Because everything I do, whenever I come on live, that's what I'm looking for. Anything to do with Sebastian Rogers. Or Eliza Vu. Those are my two open cases that haven't been found yet. 
There are other cases I've been looking at, but they've, they've caught the COVID and we're waiting for the court hearings and all that up to come through. But they're still not found a little Elijah Vu. He's been 56, 56 days now. Today will be 56 days he's been missing. <coughs> and the police aren't giving up. They're still looking. But oh, some of the county. Oh, where's law enforcement? Uh, having a go with some coffee. Because they're not out searching. And when they do, it's like, I just get the feeling that when law enforcement in some of, some of the county do come out to do a search, it's because they know something's going on on the weekend. Right, so they come out in force a couple of days beforehand to make themselves look better before all these other groups and organisations come down on the weekend. Anyway, we are here. I've had my rant about that little lad, and I hope to God prayers and thoughts go out to the family and that little boy. And just hope he can have a be have a life where he's not scared to go out again. You know what I mean? No child should be scared to have to go out. This little lad might not want to go out again. Um, right. Let's get back on to Sebastian. What's it? Right, if you haven't already seen this. I'm going to share it. It is a that Seth has started up. Oh my God, it's gone over 10,000. Just it was uh, uh, 5,000 and then it 10,000. And I've only seen this today. I've only seen this today. And the next goal is 15,000. Right? Please. So that Steph Rogers wants the FBI to come in. I don't see that ruling. Of way. It's, I don't want to. Uh, 10 days. For FBI will even think of coming into it. No. It's been 51 days now. It said 50 days on here, but this was like yesterday, I believe. It says, we want the FBI to take over the investigation of the case of Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers from Sumner County Sheriff's Office. It has been 50 days since Sebastian had gone missing. No scent trail from dogs, no video footage of Sebastian leaving his mother's house, yet no criminal investigation at all by TBI or Sumner County Sheriff's Office. And why is there no criminal? Because they've got no evidence there's been a criminal offence be made and why they've got no evidence because they didn't do the full um investigation at the beginning right they didn't do luminol they didn't do fingerprinting they didn't do nothing and i don't even think They've got the clothing that Sebastian was wearing on the at the escape camp. Because if he was, right? If he was, if they had got that 
that clothing. Ask Sebastian what he's wearing on a Sunday night. Why would I be so hostile towards Seth when Seth messaged them asking them if they had his clothing from Sunday night? I'll tell you why I'm so hostile. Because A, they haven't got his clothing from Sunday night. B, big mistake. They should have got his clothing. Now, can the mother produce those items? Not brand new items, not items where you can get to the shop and buy them again. No, we want the worn items. Right? But it's been, they had like two weeks in that house before they disappeared. Two, three weeks before they disappeared down to that caravan park. Right? They've had plenty of time to wash all those clothing items dry them and get them put back away or get rid of them completely if they have them that is if they cannot produce those clothing that he wore on the sunday night not new items we don't want shop outdoor items we want the items he wore something like warm you can Tell a worn item and a brand new item. You really can. They cannot produce those worn items from the Sunday night, right? Then that tells me Sebastian never got home on the Sunday. He never got home. Or if he did, he hadn't changed. He hadn't had the shower and got into his pyjamas. He hadn't done none of that. So if he had come home, he was still in them clothes perhaps when he come home. Some of that happened. Right? Or he not come home at all. So unless they can produce those worn items, then I'm going by the stand that he never came home. On the Sunday night, until they give us proof that they've got those items that he wore on the Sunday evening as he came out of that steakhouse with his mother to go get in the car, then, in my opinion, Sebastian never made it home. Some people keep going on about these uh, Stevie's mother and stepfather. How they went to Alaska, was it? Two days after he went missing, and how they drove in in their camper van down to some place and then caught a private plane. Has law enforcement or TBI checked their camper van? Have they been in and forensically checked it? Have they forensically checked both their cars? Because someone said they saw Kathy Barasak in her car on the Monday morning up the road somewhere. Somewhere up the road, some one of the roads away from the house. Now, if there was a hangover, there would be traces of him in that car. Right, so. But they probably have some reason of whatever that like, he's got traces of him in the car. Oh, he, he's been in our car many times. Like, right. So they need to find trace evidence of him being unalive in that car. If they find evidence, they've got to check up anything to prove that he was not alive in that car. Because after there was a handover, and it was either Sunday night after the steakhouse or Monday morning. If he did get back home 
and he did get into his pyjamas and because people are saying well when she gives the account of what happened on the Sunday night she doesn't say about him having a shower or anything like that well to be honest with you I don't take a lot into that because it's like saying it's like her saying he, t he come through, I, I said to him, it's time to go to bed, so he said, okay, so he's come through, and he said, no, and I love you, to his mum and everything, right, and went to bed. And he comes saying, but why would she say that? Why would she say that? And that's just a way of her enforcing to, to let everyone know that, well, I'm a good mum, I'm a good mum, because he said so, he said he loves me. I'm a good mum. So, what would be the point of her saying, right, we come home after our dinner, we come home, he went and had a shower. It's automatically, automatically, a, a child who's got school the next day, it's going to have a shower or a bath. See, so you, you don't need to say all that. You don't. So, I'm not taking the fact that she didn't bring that into a conversation up. But I can guarantee you, very soon, she will bring it into a conversation. She will add that into a conversation, into a storyline. She will add in the fact that when they come home, he went and had a shower, got into his pyjamas, went into the, the seven room of theirs, was playing about in there, doing whatever he was doing. And then at nine o'clock, I had to tell him time to bed. And that's when he went to bed. So he's going to bring that into conversation very soon. If she hasn't already. But I don't see. That's automatic. Like a child would have a bath or a shower. So her not saying. Well he had a bath or he had a shower. Yeah. Didn't bump, that doesn't come into my head. Right. It's automatic. On a Sunday night. Every child. I think in the UK. Right, the water. Music should be would be so high on a Sunday night because every family, even people who've got work, and yet some people like to have a bath or a shower before they go to bed, right? And so, on a Sunday night, the water usage in the UK is going to be sky high because everyone's having their bath with the kids. <coughs> <coughs> So, oh, God, I'm just my juice. so everyone's having bath, so I don't take that into much coincidence. Like she didn't bring that in. I really don't. The part that she brought in the fact that um, he came around and said, I love you. And I thought, why did she bring that into, into the storyline? Every child, I say every time I have my grandkids, I put my granddaughter to bed, I talk to her and I go, love you, and she goes, love you, you know what I mean? I put my grandson into bed, love you, love you, I talk to my attic. When I finish a phone call with my son or my daughter, I say, love you. But if someone said to me, what did you say to your daughter? And the last time you spoke to your daughter, what did you say? I said, whatever it was. But I wouldn't necessarily say, well, I said this, 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 and then I heard about walking a dog and doing this or doing that. And then at the end, I said, I love you. I wouldn't even come into it because that's just automatic what I do. So I think having a bath and her not mentioning the fact that he had a bath or shower is just an automatic thing. You automatically, it's just what you automatically do on a Sunday night. Now, I like trying to make out that like, because she hasn't said that, could mean, could mean, I'm not saying it does, I'm just saying that because she they, she hasn't said he had a bath or a shower, could mean he wasn't alive at the time. So, it's hard to say. To be honest with you, she can't say right for being wrong. But it's not what she says, it's how she says it as well. 
like um, in the very first interviews, they never mentioned mentioned his name. Now that to me is distancing themselves from him. And he always referred to Katie as mum. As mum. And people picked up on that and I thought, that is a bit strange that he calls them mum. Because I can understand saying, if Sebastian's in the room, you go, where's your mum? You know what I mean? She's in the kitchen. She's upstairs. Or, go and ask your mum. You know what I mean? But when he's not in that room with them, I can understand why he kept calling her mum. Why didn't he call her Katie? No, be quiet. Right? And, um, so that, oh God, the other cat's coming out. So, that was a, that just seemed a bit weird to me. But then he started calling her Katie, or Kate. You know what I mean? They start calling her mum, they start calling her by her name. And then they start calling him Sebastian, or Bubba. Right? So they did watch all these YouTube videos and they they scan these Facebook pages and they're seeing what people are saying and Twitter and Instagram and all that. Like, they're probably searching them all. That's what she does in the day. She goes to all these social network sites so she can pick up on what people are saying so she can add it into her little story. Right, you got people say, Well, she may not know. Perhaps Chris did come in after she went to bed at 12 o'clock, and that's probably why the dogs didn't bark because they noticed. And perhaps Chris come in after she went to bed, went in to see uh, Sebastian's room, right, and got him out of bed. And carried him out. But I can't see that either. It's a strange case. This is really weird. There's so many twists and turns. But I just don't think the mother has helped her case by leaving the house. I don't care what people thought would think about me if it was my child that had gone missing. I don't care if you think I'm the worst mother ever. But at the end of the day, all I want is my child back. But by leaving the home, it doesn't look good. It does not look good. Right? So, right, what else was there? And there's something else I wanted to talk to you today about. This cat is going to get me annoyed. Um, right, I'm going to watch this. This is by... Let me open it up. Hold on, hold on. This is by Evil Exit. Right. Evil exit. But it's really, really good. And the link will be in the description. I haven't put it in yet, but I'll shout out to Evil Exit and I will put your link in the description. I follow this guy and he does his research and he's really good. So we're going to watch this. As I said, the only just short one, four minutes, 27 seconds, okay? 15 year old Sebastian Rogers. He allegedly vanished from his mother's house and has not been seen since. Sebastian left his switch at home as well as his phone. He left without shoes on and apparently just a flashlight. This alone, I find hard to believe, but that's what his mother tells us. It's frustrating to see no movement in this case after 50 days, and many of us have little to no faith in TBI after Summerwell's case. What is going on behind the scenes? 
they can't still be at square one. Anyway, Seth Rogers, Sebastian's biological father had enough. He was the FBI to take over the case, and rightfully so. I 100% agree with him. He started this petition that many are now sh He set it up himself, and says, We want the FBI to take over the investigation of the kissing Sebastian and Drake Rogers from Sumner County Sheriff's Office. It has been 50 days since Sebastian has gone missing. No scent trail from dogs. No video footage of Sebastian leaving his mother's house. Yet no criminal investigation at all by TBI or Sumner County Sheriff's Office. In my opinion, I think this should be a criminal investigation. What are they waiting for? Sebastian didn't just vanish into thin air. I'm not even convinced that it was him taking out the trash on Sunday night. It could have been someone dressed as him. Nothing will shock me at this point, with the number of inconsistencies we've heard from the crowd foots. The petition is linked below. I encourage you to please sign it and stand with Sebastian. He is the only parent of Sebastian's that is pushing for answers. He is determined to find his son. The petition has over 7,500 signatures already and keeps growing. Let's share it and help get the FBI to take over this case completely. Uh, to join a search and get the details we need. Thank you. Find Sebastian and get the FBI on it. Someone knows something. We need to find out what they know. Let's find Sebastian, please. Sorry, but I don't want to show my face right now. Um, let's just pray that this young man will be found. Seth, his father, needs a lot of help to find his son. And we really do need help to find his precious, handsome little fella. And let's keep praying that God will lead us in the right direction. To find yeah, his sorry son. about that. I forgot to put it on. So I'll probably get it in there. Oh, God. Uh, So well done. Baby, thank you. I just want to say it's going to take the FBI to solve these missing kids' cases. Call in Echo Search again. And get this child found. Well, along with Summer Wells, too. They need the FBI from her. So much already. We have to be his voice. We have to stand up and fight for him. Please take the time and This case needs the FBI to help Seth find his son. Sebastian, we love you, and everybody's praying for you. Seth, that includes you too. Sebastian's strong. We won't stop. Take two seconds out of your day to sign this so we can get the FBI on the search to bring home Sebastian. 15-year-old autistic child who went missing nearly two months ago from his home in Tennessee in the hands of his mother. He vanished in the middle of the night and no one has seen or heard a trace of him. Let's get this going so we can bring Sebastian home. We're not getting much right anymore. We have so many missing people, so many Americans. It's time to find out what's going on and find this child first. I think his mom and stepdad knows where he's at. And stuff. All right. So let's get the dinner. Uh, right. Is that it? 
เก็บระดับนี้เสร็จเสร็จโอเคถึงเอาเก็บตักทุกเดย์หมดเลยครับสกรีนออทนี่คือสิ่งที่ก็เอ็มสเตอร์เพลย์ถ้าคุณช่วยช่วยอุตส่าห์ไม่ได้ Please I have shared this on to my X account um, to see now I have shared it on to my X account and it is on my Facebook page so please if you can help it doesn't t- it takes two minutes as that lady said two minutes and I've seen a woman say I can't sign it I'm from the UK Right? I thought, oh, oh no, I hope not. I hope it's not blocking anyone from the UK from signing this. So I went on to this. I thought, okay, I'll try. I'll try. And yet it let me sign it. I signed it. So I don't know what was happening with that lady from who said she was from the UK and she couldn't sign it. But I remember it was that. Five thousand or eight something like that, and then you did eight thousand, or it was three thousand, and then you did five thousand, and then from five thousand it would go to ten thousand, something like that. So look, we're at nearly we're on fifteen thousand. We got another four thousand and something, yeah. Okay, so please show your support. Go sign up. Petition. We need the FBI now. I am fed up of TBI saying they they know what they're doing. They're doing everything they can. They know flip all. They've done the same thing with little oh, some of Utah Wells. There's evidence in that case of child neglect in the some of Utah Wells case. There's evidence. Against the parents of neglect, against the three lights, and not one of the parents has been charged. Right now, there's evidence here of assault. You can't tell me he is only used that belt to he. So he says was, which is a load of BS. Twice, to our knowledge, twice. And how many times has he gone in and picked all his toys up and bagged it up and told him to put it all out in the trash? How many times has he done that? What are the punishments that he gave to fit the crime? Do you need to think what punishment you're going to give him for that? If, if he lied, you gave him the, a, a week about. So what are you going to do if you don't need to think <coughs> you know what I mean? So I'm sure there's a lot more other punishments this lag had. And I wouldn't say it's just from Sebastian um, Chris CP. I, I think the mother was in on it as well. Because CP hadn't been there since the beginning of February. Right? So what would make this lag walk out that house in the middle of the night if it was just him and his mum there. If his mum wasn't the discipline issuing the discipline, what would make him leave that house in the middle of the night? So I, I think the mum is issuing the discipline as well. Both KP and CP both from the Navy. Right, KP is fully trained in the IT 
inter communications and all this stuff. Then what CP was trained in. But she's trained in martial arts as well. So she's a woman who's, oh, he's, a, he's got control of me. I can't leave him. No, she's no DV. She's not. She can protect herself if she needs to. But will she protect her son? Has she chose her son over Chris? No, did she choose CP over her son? Makes you wonder. So, um, it's just so sad when I see this picture and there's nothing new coming up anywhere for him. You know what I mean? Nothing. I go through all my Facebook pages of him every day. Just something. Uh, do you, does anyone know why Seth took a if law enforcement have him on Seth took a polygraph because um, Nancy, NG, Nancy Grace, asked him, and he said he would. I'm told they are first start the polygraph. He said, Are you on any? He said, We well, just said, Yes, I'm on this medication for shoulder injury and this for sleep. Right? That polygraph go dizzy. She so said, Right, we can't do this. We need to wait until they the medication. You should not have gone ahead and done that polygraph. So, I'm sorry, but it's like you get people. I'm going to share this. You get people come to me, make questions, but after 50 odd days now, Right, does anyone know if any of the cars GPS have been checked? <laughs> Talking to the cars information. I have a sneaking suspicion that Sebastian isn't in Tennessee. I think that would have been done within the day or so. So Taylor Swift account on Twitter and post again for Sebastian. So. Oh. So, like people say, perhaps someone's hiding him now please what is the point of hiding a child what's going to, what are going to get out of that because like i said the other night eventually he's going to get out of where he's been held right you never know he might be seen on tv or you might be able to get on the internet somewhere and you could see all this going on on the internet. But eventually he'd be he'd be able to get away from that house. Right? Or wherever they're hold, holding him, hiding him. And they're going to get found out. So what is the point in him, 
in them hiding. I just don't see why they would do that. I really don't. Unless they thought the police and everyone and us YouTubers are so stupid that he thought we would just take their word for it that he was a, a runaway. Right? And I know he was doing court on the 5th of March. And I think sometime after the 5th of March, Whoever had him was going to let him go. Right? Could be someone. I don't think it's a family member. Because Sebastian would be sad to say who it was. But if it's not someone he knows. Right? He's just keeping him locked in a room somewhere and just putting food in and keeping the faces covered and all this lot. Right? I know it's a bit far fetched. I know. But sadly, they are just keeping him locked up in a room with the going in through the faces covered so you can see who it is. And then sometime after the 5th of March, they let him go somewhere and um, he gets to come home. Yeah? And who are the police are found him, the law enforcement are found him, the CBI are found him. But Sebastian can't tell him anything. Because he don't know where he was. He doesn't know where he was kept. He doesn't know who kept him. Do you know what I mean? That I can take as someone holds him. But because maybe it's got, like, I don't know if it was in the first interview he did to the National News, one of the news stations. He said something to the word, I didn't expect it to. What was the word used? I can't think now. But he didn't expect it to go, uh, like, flare up like it did with YouTube and all this lot. Right? Now, I was on this case from the third day. He went missing on the 26th. I did my first live on this case on the 28th. Because at the time, I was, at the time, I didn't bother covering the wildest strain. Right, I think I didn't. Right, I was looking at Elijah Vu, and then on Monday we had the uh, case of oh, the other girl that went missing and was found. Right, so. That week, it was like I was covering Elijah Vu, this other case, and then on the Wednesday, Sebastian. So it's quite a busy week with everything I was covering. I'm trying to get the best coverage for them. I don't like just to talk about a, uh, a child for 10, 15 minutes. Not when I'm missing. Well, I'm not at any time. Oh, it's okay, I'll talk about several child in the UK for like 40 minutes because of my disgust of it. I was disgusted by it. Yeah, I, I go alive every night with Sebastian, whether there's new news or no news. Right? Because if there's no news, then we talk about what has been said. We look back over certain interviews um, and whatever. But I also found out that KP and CP locked, locked their Facebook down. But CP can be couldn't, they're two big platforms, you know what I mean? Two big platforms to get that child's name out there. And they couldn't even do that. But then CP unlocked his platform and he's posting in there again. Something about Sebastian as such. Bit weird. But like that one clip I showed you the other day, if it is true, like that guy who works at the same place he works at, it's true. Then why did he go to work for seven o'clock in the morning 
when apparently Katie phoned him at what, five past ten past six. And by twenty past six, he said he was on the phone to the police. But the police didn't get that phone call. Sheriff's office didn't get that phone call till six thirty nine. So nineteen minutes later is when they got that phone call. So what was he doing in that nineteen minutes? What what all that time? Why why did he not phone his work and say, Look, I can't get into work today, there's been an emergency at home, I need to get back up to Tennessee. I will phone you later and explain more. Right? No way will die by to work. For a stepchild of mine has gone missing. No way. But he did. And he was in work till 10, up until between 10 and 11 a.m. And it's only not because he requested it it's only because one of his co-workers reported him for his behavior and everything and his attitude that he was took off the job and sent sent away and he was took off the cry and he walked out that yard in a strop he didn't request to leave. It was because a co-worker said they deported him. And they said they don't start till seven in the morning. And that if you're quite back, any construction site worker, you're not allowed your own phones on while at work. You can have them in your cars. Whatever, but you can't have an earpiece in. He's working a crane and he's got two earpieces in. How distracting is that? You know what I mean? To have your wife in one ear and then someone else in another ear. That is very distracting. So if that's true, and law enforcement have been to his work, and they say the same to law enforcement what this guy's been saying. Right? Why did that not throw up a red flag to law enforcement? Such as the fact that he didn't get home till about half one, two o'clock in the afternoon. The fact that he didn't ask to be took off the crane because of a family emergency. He was told to get off the crowd because of his attitude. It's junk. His attitude towards his work and everything stunk. And this one uh, co worker didn't like him and, have, and reported him. So I don't know how true that is. But if he'd been up all night, Right? Because they've even said, workers have said, we don't work at, at 7 o'clock in the morning. So they, whenever they leave or wherever they stay, they've got to be up by about 6 so they can have a shower and cup of coffee or whatever before leaving the house at half, they, wherever they stay, before leaving there to come to work for half 6 to get to work for 7. They are not going to be up till 12 p.m. Gone. Gone 12 p.m. at night on a phone call. They're not. Not when they've got to be at work for seven and they've got a 12 hour shift ahead of them. You know, one wonder you in a grumpy mood. Did was up or flipping night. So, you like that, say, if Sebastian is alive and someone knows where he is or aiding him. I don't think if he is, if they are still hiding him, it's because they didn't expect it to go like it did with the police. And they thought the police would just go, yeah, it's a woman right and leave it at that. Yeah? But then when YouTube clicked on to it, And most of YouTubers come up 
uh, weeks later. For the first week, there was like myself, Trevor Lee, and a couple of other YouTubers who was following this case. First few days, it was only about four, five of us doing it. But after about five, after the five or six days, other YouTubers were click, picking up on this and getting in on it, which was great because the word was getting out there. An hour ago, just got an Amber alert for a five-year-old in Montgomery. I didn't get that alert for Sebastian. You see, with an Amber alert from what is, it's just in that scale of Tennessee. The Amber alert goes. From what I understand, it's not nationwide. From what I'm understanding, where it should be. Oh, there's another question I want to talk. talk about. Some county police, uh, some county sheriff's office. Can you tell us why you haven't got the picture and information of Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers? on your missing persons page tb i have but some of your county have them and yet they're the ones telling us to keep his picture out there keep putting his information out there keep looking in all your sheds under cars everything they sit there stand there and tell us that and they can't even put his picture on their page why is that? This is why I think law enforcement are in. There's a lot of law enforcement being controlled. Got. I think the Barisops have got them in their pockets. I can say that I'm in the UK, they can't trust me. And it wouldn't surprise me because you do have these coppers that are in. The pockets of everyone and anyone. <coughs> Especially if they're big, if they're well known in the county. You know what I mean? If they've got businesses in the county. So, please tell us why some of the county service office have not got his picture. Or his information on their missing persons page. This is why TBI need to come in on this because the law for the sheriff's office they did it themselves. They're waiting for that. Break this case open, meaning we've got flip all. We've flip all. We're just waiting for that one tip. We just want that one tip. Yeah, someone's just mentioned here. Katie talks a lot about Sebastian when she talks about his food, how he likes his food. He eats such a lot. Do you think food part was another punishment for him? Could be. Yeah, he did like swimming. He did. He was a good swimmer. His dad had said that. He's a good swimmer. Oh, someone, something someone said prompted me. It comes to the kite and festivals. 
people are like just like cheating on sex at the time. She was yes, sex abused Sebastian and provided yeah. You know, I think she was the one abusing Sebastian and then she took the photos to make it look like that's why. What if and hear me out see in these statements? But she is portrayed as a liar in regards to Sebastian's disappearance. She, had, she may be lying about Seth too. Yeah, she is. We know she did this. She, stopped, she made them claims about domestic violence against Sebastian to stop Seth being able to have contact with Sebastian. Uh, on Smiley today, Henderson Police Sergeant is Facebook friends with Barisov's parents. No conflict of interest there. No. But true. Uh, Hendersonville City have no jurisdiction in Sumnerville. Um, we've talked about Fifth Wheel, and I don't think they have forensically gone through that Fifth Wheel of theirs. Right. I mean, and I don't believe they've gone through, forensically gone through his father's or his stepfather's car or their trailer. rescue have found 11 missing kids in the last two days out of Knoxville, Tennessee. Maybe Seth needs to reach out to them. Mm. Oh, God. No, that's tricky. It's somebody this freshly planted flower bed. Screenshot from JLRC. No. But I heard a woman asking to go on another YouTube channel. And um, she asked if there's a cemetery. Around there. Huh. And there is, because if you listen to that police dispatch call, they're mentioning a cemetery. So I'm going to just pull it up on Google Maps so we can have a look, okay? I'll tell you why in a minute. Because it's interesting. It's so. Right? Yeah, let's just sort this out. Got the layers. Right, yeah. Mm. 
there's a cemetery. There's a cemetery around here somewhere. Because on the police call, dispatch call, it says there's a yes. Right? So that says so the cemetery is somewhere. Right? All right. Let me stop. Sorry. So there's the Presbyterian church, right? The cemetery, again, they do burials or discriminations or what? But let's have a look. Yeah, there's burials that go there. Someone mentioned, have they checked to see if there's any funerals going on on the Monday? Right? Because if there's a burial going on on the Monday, the hole for the burial would have been dug on the Sunday, right? Ready for the Monday morning. Now, could if this. Now, just bear with me. Just bear with me. I'm going right outside the box here. Right outside. If they've got a hole dug for a burial on the Monday morning, right? Just for instance, someone has had or has happened to Sebastian. I'm not saying it has, but just saying it, it has. Could they have put his body into the one of them graves, covered him a little bit, right with soil, right, so it didn't look like there was anyone in the bottom, and they've come along and popped the coffin over it, and down goes the coffin. So then that would mean Sebastian is under the coffin, under the dirt. Right? Could that be impossible? Because uh, uh, the YouTuber was not sure if there's a burial uh, cemetery around there, but I remember when I heard it, I thought, yeah, there is, because I remember on a dispatch call that they said there is coming from. This side upwards, right? And I think the mannequin was probably around here somewhere. Looking up from this way, because they can say we're on north or whatever of the cemetery. And and you have a retention pond there, as you can see. Right, so there's that pond there. And I think the other retention pond, because this is more built up now. There's like some houses along here, some houses here. Definitely houses here, because we've seen them as they've drove, drove past them. There's definitely houses here. There's houses see because they've gone all the way up there in the cars, drove all the way up there. So I think the retention pond, there's two. I think this might be it round here. But I said dog leg jump straight to the one of the retention ponds. So, but then there's nothing else around. They said they some footprints. They can't be sure they're Sebastian. And as I said, Sebastian could have gone up there any time. Christ. Sebastian lived here. He through these gardens and gone up here. What's 
six bucks going on with the gigas and things like that. And the old people who live in these houses, someone said who live in these houses in the area before just not on Monday. Right, so they had seen them before, but just not on that Monday. So it just shows it did go over here. It did go around this subdivision. It's so confusing because I'm having to remember it's called subdivisions for the US and in England it's called, they're called estates and in Scotland they're called schemes. So when people say what's I have to say, oh, not me. But in Birmingham, when I lived in Birmingham, it was what escape do you live on? Job in the area. So I'm about to kill my cat because for some reason he's doing my head in tonight. Well, that's my phone, dog. There. As you can see, when you could climbing, I swear to God that cat is going to die. Hold on, he's going to die. Well, he's off the cat now, so he's not going to die. He's going to survive the night. But you can see there are burial clocks, right? But it's, it would be interesting to know if there was any burials due for Monday morning or monday afternoon and whether there was any open plots dug up on a sunday so be interesting i wonder if the police have checked that because some woman said the reason she asks is because apparently there's a case where she lived where someone went missing and they find him years later dead but under a coffin which had been buried put in and buried so it's possible to hide the body in the soil at the bottom right and then they come along with the coffin place it over down it goes Uh, it's just a thought. I'm just throwing it out there. Right? And where else? What else was it? Um, sometimes when I go through this Facebook page, it, it jogs of what I need to what I wanted to talk about. Right? Right, uh, right, this one woman, right? This, one, this case is perplexing, and I have a few a few thoughts of of what I have seen so far. I don't think it happened in the house. It would have been treated like no look, it wasn't treated like a crime scene because the mother said Sebastian had just got up and walked out the door. Took no shoes, no coat, no money, no phone, nothing. He just walked out the door. Into thin air, poof, gone. Right? So treat as the crime scene. Sebastian could have walked to, to, to the retention pond. Those six body dogs should have been easily said to be false positive. No, retention pond. Sebastian is a swimmer. A good swimmer. The retention pond is about what? Two foot? For a child that doesn't swim, possibly yes, but a child that doesn't know how to swim, be very hard. It is possible the step grandma or step are involved in the grand are involved. Grandma was at the home before the stepfather. Right? 
I think something so it tags Chris it's been said it takes about forty minutes to get from their house to the barrel socks. So not really. I probably oh, I quarter to seven. Should have spoke to the police. She could be there by seven o'clock. All right. Don't forget. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Don't forget. I think the other reason I've got another reason why mother, I think the, his mother was there. Right? The three way call between dispatch, the mother, is a red flag. Because if your child is missing, you call 911 first, not your husband, and then dispatch. True. True. You call 911. My child is missing. I'm taking the F about my husband if he's at work. I'm phoning the police. Not me. Even if he's just in the corner, he's missing. In my eyes, he's missing. He's not in his bedroom. I'm finding. I'm phoning nine one one. Simple. I phone my husband. So I look. Our son's missing. He's not in his room. I've got up. He's not there. I've looked outside. I've looked. Everywhere. I phone the police. The police are on the way. Please get home now. Why? Right? And then, or I'd phone the father. Seth, like he said, I said in the beginning, why did I just keep messaging him? Why didn't I phone his commander? His commander will have got him released straight away. He could have been there. If they had phoned him, they say they phoned at 20 past six, but we know that dispatch call didn't come through to 639. So they took a phone at 20 past six and said, we need uh, is Seth Rogers there, it's a uh, family emergency. Right? And they would have got hold of him. He could have been there by what? And they got hold of him at half six. He could have been there by seven. Ten past seven. But oh no, they just keep messaging his phone. Knowing he was at work. So he don't get the messages till 20 past 7 when he checks his phone in his car. And then we get to say, don't get mad, but Sebastian is missing. What? No question. Of, it's, have you heard of Sebastian? Is Sebastian with you? Nothing like that. Because don't think you've been the first things out of my mind. Is Sebastian with you? And if he said no, like he will get I've gone, well, he's missing. He's not at home. No. But they don't even ask. Um, the police not saying anything at this point leads me to believe they are working on a lead. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's to be seen. Motive for parents is unclear. I don't think any of them killed him, but they do know what happened, or at least what led to him running away, as they originally said. Oh, yeah. They all know what happened. They all know. Sebastian was taken, or he left with someone who knew. I don't think it was an abduction by a stranger. No, it wasn't. He wouldn't have gone with a stranger. Plus, how would a stranger get into their home if their front door was locked? The mom seems to feel slightly upset, but the stepfather is emotionless. I can't tell if that's ego or psychopathic. Both. Both. Sebastian could be anywhere from Hendersonville. 
I would say it could be anywhere from Hendersonville to Mississippi. I don't think he's Alaska. I don't think the biological father knows what happened. And I don't think he's working yet. Nina's interview, that's Nina is CP's ex-wife. Was it his fourth wife or fifth wife? I can't remember. I can't keep track. Nina's interview made me impossible on that topic because there was one side of the story. Oh, no, I believe her. I, I've only seen snippets of interview. And I can't do the whole interview. I can't. I can't. Because what I saw, like five minutes here or five minutes there, it was just heartbreaking. I think Trev, Trev, Trevor Lee did a brilliant job because what he did, she got in touch with him. He didn't get in touch with her. She got in touch with him. And he gave her the platform to talk. He didn't interrupt to one. He just gave her the platform and she talked. Like a lot of YouTubers. But how do you know this? Uh, you no, know, I would say let people talk. Let them talk. And then when they're finished, some things that you're hearing, then when they're finished talking, then. Ask them questions. Why? The stepfather having abusive, egotistical, narcissistic. Oh, oh yes, brilliant. Got that one right. The stepfather and mother have added to the story and gone back and forth on certain topics in interviews. And I didn't notice. And I didn't notice that. Oh, we we did. I don't think the large teachers are trying to is lying to the public. That's what I was so wanna try and get that video because the full video is out there on YouTube and I can't remember where what channel it's on. I'm going to have to try and find when I do, I'll show it you again. But from what I'm seeing, from what I see. I was right in the beginning. I knew it was from this one house on the corner. That corner house with the camera. I knew it was from there. Because on the film it shows the cars and all the cars on the driveway. And it shoots over there. And you can see the two lights. Right? I saw he didn't have many friends, but his home life, but if his home life was rough and he had friends the parents didn't know about, they could have planned to take off in the night. But the false dog hits confuses me to the point. So I'm not sure about that one. The sister of the stepfather being involved with the sheriff's department, she's running the case, is a big, is a, a red flag, massive red flag. She should be kept away from the case she should have no information given to her nothing still forming my theory on what happened these there are just a few thoughts so far well just a few just 17 little thoughts <laughs> all right but good ones Uh, oh, does anyone know how to stop to live from camping? Yeah, but depending on traffic, could be 30 minutes, but normally about 15, 20 minutes. <coughs> <coughs> That's what the replies were. It should be about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, someone says, yeah. What? Oh, I believe 
CP's sister worked or works in administration with the sheriff's office and has absolutely nothing to do with this case. That just doesn't seem logical that she could somehow have any influence on 100 law enforcement work in the case. <laughs> no, but her mother and stepfather can. Oh, I'll help this one. But <laughs> yeah, true. Deputy Duffy, is that his name? He didn't know it was his name. Said the people of Sumner County search their backyards and property twice a day. And then he's gone. I guess Sebastian has been playing hide and seek for 50 days now. When your party is found, you know, as in front of the person. Yeah, tomorrow should be tomorrow. So we should know about the polygraph of that um, death has took. Question here. I'm sorry, but it may sound stupid, but I'm from the UK. Who is John Walsh? I've had one reply so far. Let's have a look. He started a show called America's Most Wanted many years ago when his own son was kidnapped and killed. So, how's he going to help? How's he going to help if he started a show? America's most wanted. We don't know who's most wanted here. That is someone like uh, Tim from Ed. Yes. Been saying as well, there's both being news conference today, but we haven't heard nothing. But now, someone put it up Is it true? Father, but and bring up the father. I'd just like to put out there that, that there's two possible reasons for that experience. Biological dad has been talking too much about the investigation. Hmm. Two, biological dad might be considered a suspect. On video camera, at his word, for the whole 12 hours that he was there. If the mother and stepfather are guilty, there's no way they talk to them and not the biological father about updates on Sebastian's case. Right. This is what Steph is about. Uh, Steph, Steph and right. uh, Talking to Katie and uh, Chris, to him, when he asks, he used to give them all these tips at the beginning, right? He'd give them tip after tip. Right? He was getting he would give to law enforcement and TBI. You know what? He don't bother anymore. 
he he gives his tips. Whatever tips his uh, PIs get, he works out a plan. Himself. And goes and checks it. Right? Because law enforcement aren't talking to you. Now, I've got Seth is law enforcement himself. He knows when to keep his mouth shut and when. When to talk and when to keep his mouth shut. So they're not telling him information because he's law enforcement. It's BS. He knows the laws. He knows the rules. He knows when to keep quiet. And as we're saying, he's being, what was it she said? Biological dad has been talking too much about the investigation. No, he's been talking about the searches for his son, the bust investigation. All he has said about the investigation is when people say, have you been cleared? Turn around and say, no one has been cleared because there's an investigation and we won't be cleared until the investigation is over. Then I ask him some other questions and I say they won't tell me anything because there's an investigation. Right? But if they ask him anything about what his PIs have found, he can answer that. Because he's, he's paying for these PIs. So every information he gets off his PIs, he can talk about that. But they don't give him no information. In fact, I said earlier, he messaged TBI about the clothes that Sebastian was wearing on or something odd. That was quite... Uh, nasty towards him. You know what I mean? It was... A, he asked him about the clothes and they probably got a bit... Cool, those, we got those clothes. Did the mother give us those clothes? Did we ask him about those clothes? No. He's making us look stupid now. You know what I mean? He's not making you look stupid. YouTubers who are asking him, have they got the clothes that he wore on the something else? So he's asking you. You're then coming back and having a go at Seth. Right? So... Like what else? Uh, let's have a look at Tennessee missing children. Is this the one they're on about? TBI. Should be on there. What? I don't think he was. Look at all these children, right? Miss Nashville. Nashville. Green, Greenville. Nashville. This is 2008. Where's Sebastian? Columbia, Texas. Hermitage, Texas. Sorry, Daisy, Tennessee, Nashville, Memphis. Lexington, Atlanta, Tennessee, Bolivar, Bolivar, Bolivia, Tennessee, Livingston, Tennessee, 
the Washington County Tennessee. This one here. When I first saw this, I thought, oh my god, that's bad, but it isn't. It isn't. It's just. I had the corner of my eyes, saw it, and I thought, oh no, it isn't. He's been missing since August 25th, 2023. Bedford County, Nashville, Springfield. Uh, I told the seven. I'm Kenya Parker. I told the seven, 24, 13 years. I put a March 22nd, 15 years old, Nashville. I put a 14th, missing 14 year old. So, where's some of my Utah round? And I'm going to talk it in see. If See if anything comes up. There he is, Amber Alert. So he's there, it's just not in that list of all the ones. Let's see if some of them are around there. Yeah, she's out. Hawking County Sheriff. He's a five-year-old white. Someone was last seen wearing grey pants, pink shirt, and was possibly barefoot. Right? So. Let's see. What comes up? There he is. I knew he's on there, but he's on that on some of the county one. So let's get back then. Let's just go back. I thought, flipping out. You know what I mean? Because I remember seeing him on there the other week. Right. So, just so much, so many different questions keep coming, keep coming up, and oh god, god take the headphones off. And it's this. I just want some solid investigation now being done because this is. There's no way an autistic fifteen-year-old lad is going to get up and walk out that house. Without no shoes, no coat, no coat, 
Anh nhờ mọi người. Please running away. He could took his money that he had saved up in his bedroom. He could contact his father. He could text him. You know what I mean? Even though he was at work, he would have texted him. Yeah? So, there's no way. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, pe people still don't believe that feature of the large the trash, the garbage man. I don't know. I'm going I'm just gonna be I was right in the beginning, it is that camera from that house that caught him. I said it was around there. I knew it was. But then someone said no, it's at the back of their house. And I kept thinking this camera is very high up for that angle. And when you think of where this house is and where the ground was, it is quite high up. The camera is because the, the land goes into a bit of deep. Their house goes, this house goes up on a, like a bit of a bright, a hill. Right? So it does look down. And I knew it was that house. I stick a duck to guns. I knew it wasn't in the back of their house. Knew it. It's on the common land that comes from the back of their house, but it's not at the back of their house. Actually, I'll show you where it is. Going to put my little man there. Okay, we're going to. There it is. There's a camera there. And a camera there. Whether that one works, I don't know. But that one's angle. And when you see the video, right? <coughs> sorry, sorry. Good now. Get off. Right. Yeah. See the thing, it's on a bit of a brag. It's on a bit of a thing, and the people we see are. Hold on, I'm going to get this one. Hold on, hold on. The two people that we see are coming over here along. But this house here has got a camera on. Aye. Let's up the corner somewhere up here. Aye. Got more. I'm not there. That camera doesn't pick them up. But apparently, from what we can see, right, this camera, <coughs> which is there, picks them up. And I said, from that head, from that head, right? God's sake. 
and now you know those like like that we see in the background i think it's this this security card on this house or even the, no is that no over here right walking this one guy was round back here and then the other person moving was round back here but this <coughs> oh god come on come on <coughs> <coughs> This is the common area. Along there. Now they can form that. Along that ditch. From their garden. Along that ditch. There. And surround about there, you see that light, that second light come on. Someone is standing here. And that second light comes on. And then you see this big light. Something light up. This is. Just catching the end of this. But the full video, you actually get to see all of this. Right, in the. You actually get to see this, right? And the light is over. Someone standing about. And the light is coming. See, there's a dip. There's a dip. So someone was walking there. What I don't understand is what. No, you do not to for some reason. Like, for some reason it won't zoom in when I want it to zoom in. But for some reason, this has here. Uh, didn't catch them. Which to me doesn't make sense. Surely that camera would have caught them because it's all dips. You know what I mean? Like, so if this camera over here caught them, caught whoever it was, then why didn't this camera? That's the thing that bothers me. Why didn't this camera catch them? This one did. You know, when you think this camera here, looking over there, and you think, why is it so high? It's because I go up on the hill anyway, here, and B, there's that incline. See how it dips in? <coughs> Sorry. See how it dips in? All the way around. But I still don't understand. Action. But the light, I believe, was coming from this house. I think this whoever came along here, the lights of this house. Whether it was a handover to someone there because they said they saw number two, then walking back. Walking back. In the home video, and he said it is a trash truck, garbage truck. Whether they've showed him that video, this is what the video shows us, blah blah blah. But we need you to go out there and tell them on YouTube it's a garbage truck. Right? <laughs> and then he comes there with the say. 
that bit of the video, the corner bit. Yeah. It's like the whole this we just uh, we just saw we didn't see it's also might get lit up very brightly right so was there a car I don't know. It could have been this one. Because of the whiteness, the light would spark. It's funny, a light white colour. But it was definitely red. That deep. And that goes all the way up to their hands. So they could have been a handover to someone waiting down here who was literally off their camera but well, i thought that was off their camera on the edge so it just makes you know what i'm not going to listen to the youtubers in future i'm going to go with my because that was my good feeling from the beginning it was from that angle You go back to the first video. So I've talked about that video with the light. You hear me say, I can show you on the map what I've just shown you now. But then someone said, no, 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 it's from the back of the guard. Right? I went, oh, okay, so that's just throwing everything I took out the flipping window. Because I'm thinking it was all round here. Because someone said, no, 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 it was at the back of the garden. Oh. Someone said it was from the back of the garden. I'm thinking, here, round this way. And that second person had walked from here. Whatever camera it was, be it that house or this house, the camera caught up. Right? But then when it came out there, it was a garbage truck. I'm thinking, oh, hold on. Oh, the garbage truck would be down here somewhere. Yeah? Why have you got people working on the, the men who are doing the garbage walking around here? The bins are all here, so the rounds here. That's down the roadway, right? And then the walk or wherever that drive, that drive, so on, right? Park the truck up here, pull the bins out, bump, then come round, get this out. You know what I mean? But I said, the first time I said it was from there, and I said it was that video cut, that camera there, that caught them. Right, and I see, uh, it wasn't even on their road that the camera was caught. Right, so it's going to be this size. Because that would have that angle, which would cut. <coughs> Let's have a look. So, if, so if say we, it wasn't from that road, and it was from uh, this road. Yeah, right. Tell it. Say so it was this house, because when you think this house. That has will catch that triangle will catch maybe this bit 
right? But we want to catch that bit. Here, the second person. You catch this bit, maybe a bit here. Person. Down. It's too low down for that. Can it be this side? I don't know. But Seth wasn't even a house. Um, got the they got the video footage from, and I think taking up go along and tell me the ten past three. It's a garbage man. I come at ten past five maybe. Right? I heard Seth say that. I thought it's garbage man. But I've seen other and people kept going on and on and. I'm going, let it be. Steph has said it's in the whole video. It's the garbage. And it's not the garbage, man. From this camera here, it's like very two small. The specs on the screen are so small. You can miss them if you blink. That's why whoever recorded it, edited it. And then sharpened it up more just to get those two torch lights in. Two lights. They put all this out. Why? Perhaps they didn't. CP to realize it was there. There has that guy, the video footage, possibly. You know what I mean? She's been on it with their camera. But the video is there, and I'm going to find it. I'll find it what's on today. But some of the time, and we will have a look at that video because that's where it's gone. It's from this side. And it's the camera literally is pointing over that way. Right? And it catches that person. And it just, this person is very, very faint. This one's bigger, a brighter, she says. First person is brighter. But they're counting that way. And even on there, you can see the dip, the ditch. But what I don't understand is why this side didn't pick them up. That house didn't pick them up. Who's this house? That house had nothing. So, anyway, so I just want to know by some of the county law and sheriff's office why you haven't got Sebastian. On your Miss Person page, you cannot stand there in front of cameras to say, "Please check your property twice a day." Uh, please keep getting your the name and your picture out there. When you're doing feckle, you're sounding a bit like KT, KP and CP. Please keep keep looking for Sebastian. Keep his picture out there. Yes, we will because we know you like I'm doing feckle. You're not doing your thing. You're expecting us YouTubers or TikTokers, Instagrammers, everyone online to do your work. You know what? Well, I hope to God it's a YouTuber who does. I hope to God it's a searcher who's been out there pounding them streets, pounding them woods and the forests. Not really, it wouldn't be nice for them to find it. Right, but I hope to God it's one of them that find him because then if you come out and get a press release and say we found him, I will rip you to bits. And believe me, I'm from the UK, I don't give a flying f about the law enforcement over there. You cannot sit there and tell your citizens 
your community to keep looking for this lad and you can't even put him on your missing person page. You can't sit there and do that. I am totally disgusted with that. Totally. Right. Well, I always finish, I try and finish on a good note. Right. So, um, I, I showed the video the other night of two guys. And you've got to understand the Scottish humour. Understand Scottish humour. And as I said, don't come at me if you don't say Please. They're, they're from Dundee. They're Dundonians. Right? It took me six months to understand what people were saying here. Moved up here. Uh, so, but some of the videos, I'm not joking. Oh, it's movie time. This was only done 37 minutes ago. So, I haven't even seen this one yet. Right? So, hold on, hold on, let me pause. Smoothie time. Oh, God. I take to think about that putting in these movies, everyone. Right, hang on, I'm gonna show you. So, the two guys from Dundee, uh, and I have to correct myself because when they first started doing this last year, they're trying to raise money for um, not raising money no more, they're doing it. Because they hope to do them. Okay? So, they just like making these videos. I have, some of them, I'm, 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 I've got my eyes, my hands out, my face, no, oh my god, no, 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 no. That's gonna be so bad. Oh my god, no, it's gonna be painful. Oh, oh my god, that's gonna make you sick. Right? I'm literally, oh God. But you've got to understand the Scottish, Scottish humour. So do not have difficulty with my accent. These two guys are from Dundee, Scotland. So beware. Today we're doing mystery blended foods. There's a blender there. I'm going to have a jug. For the second time. Because we only have one blender, that's right. So, someone, this is, this is how you Right. So far, a blender, a blender, a jug. Okay? And obviously, one of them is going to put a concoction into this blender, blend it up, and the other to do the casting has got a blindfold over. I'm just translating it a little bit for you. So, <laughs> what's going to happen? We're going to turn around and fold it. It's going to come in and say, Who wants this? We're going to do rocket because this is even worse first because. <laughs> what's going to happen is, if. See, I go first on first on, right? And so the offer is something that I'll say, No, John gets it regardless. And vice versa. John says, No, I get it regardless. He says, no. Yeah, there's no other things. No. So, but we can both say yes. All right. Don't worry. I have. I'm having difficulty here. Here, understanding this myself. I think I have to watch it about four times before I know what they say. <laughs> because they do. They do. Uh, people just used to say that the people from Birmingham. They talk quicker than us. I'm not lying. It took me six months when I moved up here to understand what people were saying. Six months. I stand there and nod my head like, yep. Yeah. That's good, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, right. See, yes. 
Like you've got a hand out and John's got his fist clenched. Oh, oh, I love it. Woo! Oh, Jesus. You can get first choice. John. The first option is would you like this? Yeah, I'll take it. Oh. I'll take it as well. Would you like this? Oh no! Does that mean John gets it? John gets it because Oh no! Oh no! Not with them. Oh god, no. No. Do you want this? I'm positive. Yes. Uh, I'm positive. Don't come in top of us. Please don't come. Do you want this? Yes. I'll get it on as well. Do you want this? No. Is that the contest? Yeah, I'll have to get it regardless. Oh, oh. If you want this, it's a man. Them the other day, and I said, You two have got more than one for the screw loose. I think you've lost all of them. Stomach's even getting really good, it's just not letting me touch that thing. Good. <laughs> 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 I don't know about you lot, but I sat here and I got my hand over my mouth. I really was. Oh God. What makes them do these things? I do. <laughs> I'm going to go ask them. Right, because that was just, ugh. Ugh. And to put them cricket fingers in at the end. Oh, 
Oh god. Right, it's like that um I'm a celebrity to get me out of here in the jungle. When they get to do those eating and drinking challenges. Oh god. Oh god, that was horrendous. I'm sorry if that just made you in vomit on your mouth. I really wasn't expecting that. I thought it was a bit spicy or whatever, but half of what was going in there was I expecting. Uh -huh. So, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I am sorting the audio out this week. And it make a difference. Thank you. But honest to God, that does be joking. Ugh. Ugh. So, I'm anyway, I'll just got to say, because I've got everything I wanted to talk about today about Sebastian. I just wanted to hold up the fact that some young county sheriff's office does not have Sebastian on their page. Right? Yes, yeah, they have the nerve to sit there in front of cameras and tell the people of Sumner County and Tennessee to keep looking in their properties and getting his picture out there and his name out there. But they can't even put his picture and name on their missing person page. That does not make sense to me. Um, and I'll just put up a few things that was being said on a Facebook page, right? Because a lot of the times people do ask, come out and ask the same questions and you're thinking, where have you been for the last 50 days? You know what I mean? But a lot of people haven't come into it yet. They're only just thinking, because they may not use YouTube, right? As often as some people do. Right, they may not use YouTube. So, if it is on their news channel, on their TV, they may not know about it. This is why it needs to get put out on the TV and not just in Tennessee and Memphis and wherever, nationwide. Nationwide, this needs to go. And please, I have shown this. I'll put it up before we go. If you can, it takes two minutes. I mean, two minutes. It takes two minutes. If you haven't already, please go on this petition. The more we get, the better standing they'll have, he'll have. Because Seth is asking for FBI to come in now. FBI told him they have to wait. Oh, God. They have to wait 60 days from the beginning of the case. Why? Well, that's another, what, nine, eight or nine days on Saturday? No, that's not good enough. Law enforcement and TBI have not done, they had no new needs. What they had was apparently two women who were thirteen down by Drake River found some items in the bushes. They call police. These are they, they took the items, whatever they did. They don't know what they did with these items. They don't know. Right? And then a pair of glasses was found. And it's easy enough to find out whether the discussions you take the lens out and you can get the prescription off it. Right? It came back not Sebastian. Right? 
and uh, they're on the only leads they've had in the last because the first 10 days you could say the safe is going up. So the only leads I've had in the last 40 some days are the two. Right. They've had people uh, leaving, phoning up and saying, like, I saw, I saw this van at this time, at this place, right, with the lag, a lag on the front seat that looked identical to Sebastian. Now, law enforcement, I think they have checked that out. I don't think it was either. Right. Sorry. I'm all blocked up. Anyway, and then there's another guy who said he used to work, he works on the doors somewhere. Gatenberg. And he could swear he saw a lad spitting image of a statue, but he said he wasn't wearing any glasses. And what made more as a as that was Sebastian was because he's wearing this hat, yeah, hat sort of thing of, of a character. I think it's a cartoon character or Minecraft character. I don't know. And um, he noticed his father Seth was wearing a shirt with that character on. So he did message CBI and law enforcement about this. Hold on. Hold on. But we don't know. Hold on. I'll give up. We don't know if they, anything was ever done of that. Okay? So, I'm just trying to find my tissue so I can go in. Hold on, I'll be right back. So there's tips coming in, or was coming in. Steph doesn't bother about telling them any of the tips they find. The book spoiled it for you. I'm not joking. I was listening. My hand was over my mouth. I'm going, oh, God. You know what I mean? But what they, what they do, but they do it for... Yeah, you know, just because they like doing it, not for raising money no more. Like, do not raise money for it. They are you now know, doing it just for the for it. Anyway, so there have been tips coming in, and like I said, we don't know if the law enforcement have been going out and checking on them or anything. We hope to have been put it that way, and. Uh, but Seth don't give him any tips no more. Whatever he finds off his PRs, he now keeps himself. So I can't blame him. They're not inv they don't involve him in any of their fact finding. So why so give up. Why should he tell them anything he finds out? Right, what he's paying for. Hold on.
right? So why should he tell them any information that he's paying for? Because he's got PIs, he's paying for them. So why should he give it to the police when the police aren't doing nothing? And then the police, would, if it did lead to something, they take all the credit for it. Right? I'm sorry, I'd be the same. They won't, they have not told Seth anything. And if he does ask about certain things, they get a bit stroppy with it. So now he just keeps, whatever tips he gets now, he gets his own private investigators to check it out. Right, it might be nothing, it might be something. He gets his own PIs to check it out. And then his PIs come back to him and tell him, and then they sit down and work out a plan of action. Right? And only then, really, I suppose, if he needed the police there, would he inform law enforcement? But if law enforcement then said, no, I like me, does it? No, we're not interested. Seth would go, okay, I'll carry on on my own. And he'd take it on, on his own. So, Uh, I'm just checking something yet. Yeah. So that's what it is at the moment. It's at a standstill between law enforcement and Seth. Because it's just, he's the one who's being out there every day and looking for his son. Right? He didn't do no interviews. He wouldn't have done that first interview at the vigil if it hadn't been for Nick Ferris asking him, seeing him there and asking him and then he thought okay if this is going to get my son's name out there I'll do these interviews he didn't want to do all these interviews if he can reach a thousand people in one interview or ten thousand people in one interview Right, that's 10,000 more people that know about his son. And that's all he cares about. He just wants his son home. And he's fed up of the lies and everything. So, anyway, thank you for being here tonight. I hope you are let them know what you think. <laughs> and um, I will be back tomorrow right so till then um, I'm just going to put my little bit of music on right. anything it takes so long to get through anything on this so I will be back so, same time, 8 o'clock. Alright. Just seeing if this is coming off. Yeah, I don't want to move it at the moment. Right. Come on, play. Yeah. So, thank you everyone for being here. You can be anywhere else, but you just be here with me. Which I'm really grateful. Please. Before you go, hit that like button. It really will help, and I'll be really happy. Make my day. Thank you, then. And don't forget, turn that picture. Till tomorrow. Good night.